I am a victim of um, predatory lending. I am a victim of um, the redlining. We now have a report that proves that big banks are in fact denying access to credit and stealing from communities and we think there's an obligation for the city to look further into this and do something about it. My house is just not, you know, my house, it's my home. And so I understand the depression, the heartbreak, uh, all the things that come with uh, feeling really like a failure because that's how you start to feel. Uh, Non-white and racially integrated neighborhoods receive 23% fewer home loans than they should based on the income of their residents and 67% fewer refinance loans than they should based on the income of their residents. Some of these communities are as affected as they were in the 1960s by illegal lending practices. Dayton's Bluff in St. Paul, North Minneapolis, East St. Paul, neighborhoods all throughout the metro area that have high concentrations of people of color are being affected and it has a long history in this country going way, way back to denying access to credit, uh, to fair housing. It's a shame. I mean, it really is one of the things that uh, prevents the North Side from revitalizing and prevents black and Latino and non-white people from participating in a fair way in American society.